Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are looking at more of the items that we were able to make and make in March. And I think earlier I may have told you guys that I had built the M109 self-propelled howitzer by Atlantis first. But I actually think I built these first. And these are some Skitari miniatures and a... I don't know what this is. This is some kind of factorum hematrope reactor from the uh obviously uh warhammer 40k imperium magazine so you would buy these magazines uh some people would get them through a subscription for a while you could get them at barnes and nobles and you would get these sprues and so here's the issues that had these sprues so you got imperium 27 where you get the entire reactor in there. And then you had to buy Imperium 21 and 22 to make this Skitari. Because there was not enough sprues in just one of these to make, to make the unit. So I just wanted to point that out and show you. If you're trying to snag these online or you're looking to see if your shop has any back issues. If you want to do this. Those are what you want to look for. But you remember, you need 21 and 22 to build. This is a 10-man unit of Skitari. So you have those. You have these. And in the magazine, it will give you step-by-step -step build instructions for this particular figures. But, you know, I varied away from it with a couple of my models. I just did my own. Like, I think this guy I just did on my own. Uh, but in the magazine, they said if you want to follow their paint job or whatever, or if you want to use their instructions, then you, sh you should build them with the parts they suggest. So, you know, you have to make up your own mind. This is the Factorum, as I call it. You know, it's got the kind of, you know, GW skull in there. And I just think it'd be a cool piece on any kind of sci-fi table if you had an objective. You know, maybe you needed to shut this down on an enemy planet or maybe you need to protect it. So, I mean, these magazines run about, uh, well, this one, it says $13.95. So I'm assuming that's what I paid for it. It might have been a little bit more, but I think that's about what I paid for. So you're looking at $45 for all of this. And so... Normally, that would be a lot of money. Like, I don't think I would normally pay $45 for this amount of plastic. You do get the magazines, but I will tell you there's not there's not much in the magazines other than some build instructions and then some kind of background info on the various pieces, kind of their stats and stuff like that. But it's not really a magazine you're going to sit down and read on the bus or in a waiting room or anything like that. So basically you're paying $45 for these. Now, what I was going to say is normally if I had to buy these and you say, you know, give me $45, I'd say no. Right? But you're buying them on a monthly basis and it's only $15. So you're kind of spreading it out, you know, and if you're in there, you're in a mall and you go to Barnes and Nobles and you see an Imperium, you know, you drop 15 bucks and, you know, you get kind of a little item to go with it. So, you know, would I pay $15 for this? I mean, yeah, if I needed it as an objective, it's nice hard plastic. I mean, this is not thin or cheap or brittle. This is the same stuff GW uses. So I would do that. I mean, if you were to buy these separately, which I don't know how they're sold, usually a 10-man squad that GW releases as an individual unit is going to run you 35 or 40 dollars and so you're looking at getting this for like five or ten bucks which i mean i don't know if they sold this separately knowing gw that would run you about 25 dollars so i think it's i think it has value i would not probably get a year subscription uh because I think that's the way these subscriptions are set up is so that you will subscribe for a year and then like throughout the year you get like some bonus stuff and by the end of the year, you know, you get like a a, a massive bundle of extra stuff. But uh, 
I probably wouldn't do that because I think that was going to set you out of anywhere from two fifty to three hundred dollars. So, uh, and I know you're thinking fifteen times twelve is not two fifty or three hundred, but there's like caveats. So it winds up being that because some of the items they make available, I think they do charge you more and they charge you separately. So if you're doing that monthly one, so you get more stuff, but you also kind of pay more for it, but it's kind of a little bit more premium or rarer stuff like, like characters and vehicles and stuff like that. But yeah, this kind of got me started. I mean, uh, I kind of jumped right in and started on this to start out making March. And, uh, I mean, this was pretty straightforward to build. I don't remember anything on here giving me any real problems. The instructions are, are kind of the Ikea, so you got to kind of double check what you're doing. <laughs> and maybe you want to use a glue that you can kind of work with or take apart, like this stuff, the, the liquid cement. It's much better than crazy glue uh, initially until you, everything is right. Because sometimes you do have to take something off and move it to somewhere else. Uh, these took a while. I think each one of these had about six parts. You had to do like the body to the, to the torso, to the head, to the backpack, uh, to the arms, to the base. So that did take a little while. It took me almost a whole night to get all 10 of these done. And I'm talking about like a three hour night. But now I'm looking forward to painting them. Hopefully, I mean, they have this kind of metal theme. So I'm hoping that will make painting them easy and quick. All right, take care, guys. God bless. Mm -hmm.